what's up what's up what's going on guys let's talk for third 21 slate it's an eight game slate for saturday april the 3rd 2021 april the 3rd 2021 but before we do let's check out some of my lineups man oh boy i have some bad plays let's check it out uh, as you guys know, I told you guys I'm going to be playing less and less and yeah, well, a little bit more than what I was saying, but still, let's check it out. Um, I played 10 teams. As you guys can see, 10 teams for 444, that's 44.10. Now I cannot play the cheap one, so basically I'm only staying playing the main slate since I cannot play 222, which I want to play. The 25 cents well usually i don't play i usually play the five cents but i cannot play those so i play 10 of those and i also play one team in the well two teams in the late slip so that's 48 but you know the big the late slip but they're not doing good anyway so those are my two teams right now so i have uh man cp2 is doing looking good Fred Van Fleet, man, 51%. So I know a lot of people right now not too happy about that. He definitely was a bad play. James Johnson, 34.8, doing great. Robert Williams was the center I gave you guys, doing good. Giannis with 33.5. That's good, that's good. Hopefully he can get to 70. Bogdanovich was the guy I decided to go with, 48.9. Most likely going to get to 50. Nikhil Alexander, 26.1. Very disappointed. I was hoping this guy without those guys just take off. But between him and uh, <laughs> Van Fleet, that's over 108%. 108.8. Right there. So, somebody here. If you somehow don't play any of those guys, most likely you're having a good night. And based on that, there's a chance Nick here, if somehow he can get to 30, could be end up in the winning lineup. But I don't think so. Ah, don't think so. I think I went 100% of this guy. Van Fleet, I, oof, I had a lot of them. At the last minute, I'm like, you know something? Let me take him out in three lineups. I think I only have three lineups without him out of 10. CP3, 29.1. And I end up playing shorter because... I'm like, you know something, I need to play shorter because of we have so much money on the table. I don't want to leave anything. I didn't want to play the most expensive center because I love Robert C. so much. Then you have James Johnson starting, Budanovich. I told you guys yesterday there's a chance Trey Young going to be out, and I was right. So Trey Young is out. Then I had to jump on Budanovich. I believe I also play Budanovich 100%. Him, I wish I play at the last minute that took Williams out of some of my lineups. That was a mistake. I um, definitely regret that mistake. But those are my best two lineups. Gonna end up finish my two best lineup. I need Shoulder to pass CP3. The only way he might be able to do that is for Phoenix to come in the third quarter and just blow out OKC. So uh, Phoenix can, go, I mean, CP2 can go to the bench and sit in the bench, all right? Because he's AI on the uh, shoulder right now. Uh, uh, I'll jump to McConnell for one reason, one reason only. When I saw they say, oh, he's, uh, he was out, or, you know, his point guard. I will talk about him later. I'm like, you know, something, let's just jump on him. And he had a bad first half, but he played a little bit better in the second half. I think McConnell, because of how Jar did, most likely could end up in the winning lineup. And uh, shorter, a better second quarter, definitely like that. All right, so that's my team right now. So let's see, somebody just called. Oh, yeah, Nikhil Alexander. So I need them to get to. Uh, he's still on the game. I'm glad. So hopefully, get to 35 here. Only two minutes left. Uh, most likely, I'm going to come back at the end to check this lineup again. I just want to see how it is doing. So let's jump to the slate. Let's talk about the eight-game slate. And uh, uh, I don't remember who it is. I don't know why. I mean, to be honest, most people doesn't show how much they play. Most people doesn't even show their lineup. So 
showing my line of descent actually an extra so I don't really have to show how much I spent I don't think it matters but since some if some of you really want to know right now I'm winning 16 and I play 10 lineups I, I don't play the big ones and when a while back I used to I don't really play the big ones once I do here and there I will do but once I do I will let you guys know I'm talking about the 33 dollars day uh, I think the most I ever played was like what 400 something but that's because I want a ticket all right so let's jump to the slate guys take forever to talk about it please drop a like in this video for me do it right now thumbs up appreciate it subscribe if you have not all right so this slate is crazy already and uh, it's the night before so they, we're gonna get a lot of news some team are playing back to back you have dallas so we have to know is Pozengi is gonna be playing is luca gonna be playing because i think they are in the uh playoff right now if they're not then most likely both of them can have it off but if i can see Pozengi sit and then luca plays all right uh luca is a 10.8 i don't mind the price great price uh but i see like uh westbrook better luca hasn't really been good to be honest uh i still like westbrook a little bit better and i'm with or without bill but i'm hoping bill gonna be out all right other point guard fax 9.5k it's a no for me i would rather go with lillard over okc even though it's a back-to-back okay see also back-to-back so that's not back-to-back a lot of teams gonna be playing back to back ben simmons so proud of all the guys i mentioned so far ben simmons is against minnesota is my favorite i like joali day a little bit but i yeah i do like joali a little bit if malcolm back then play i believe he will if he doesn't then who uh, that's a game i'm gonna have to go to and play a lot of those guys i do like Malcolm back then at 6.7k here if he does play he was a late scratch uh, we'll see that's why I think he might play because he was a late scratch um, my currently 6.3k great price against Orlando it's a back-to-back -back, and they're playing Orlando I can see him well is it a back yeah it's a back-to-back -back. I can see him sit that game to be honest because they're playing Orlando they should be able to beat Orlando with whoever they play whoever is on that lineup Derek Wild 5.9 has been decent. <coughs> Excuse me. Non 5.8. I don't mind none to be honest. I don't mind none. Uh, he will be back. So hopefully he'll be back. He'll be back in the starting lineup. And then uh, if he's uh let's see, is he still out? Well, I guess not. So I don't even see. All right. All right, so non Rubio, if Rubio is out, then I like his backup point guard, Derek Rose. Uh, they play tonight, so I believe it's a back to back. So let's see, it's April 2nd. They did play. I'm hoping he sat. I mean, he sits. If he sits, oh, that's good. Michael Carter Williams, man, every time I want to play this guy, something happened. Right now, they say illness, illness, questionable for Saturday. So I definitely don't know if he's going to play. If he does, I like him. Jordan Clarkson. I do like Jordan Clarkson regardless, but if McConnell is out, then I like him even more. And there are some cheap plays. Corey Joseph has been great, but it's a no for me. Jalen Bonson, if you guys out, I love Jalen Bonson. That's the guy I was thinking of giving you guys. Uh, McConnell. Oh, I'm going to like McConnell if everybody's out meaning not everybody but Porzingis. i mean why well, i'm saying Porzingis. if uh sabonis is out if malcolm bagden is out then yes i like him uh as far going dragic i guess he's back uh i'm not looking forward to play go going dragic Peyton, if uh i like Peyton. if let's see Peyton at four point I like Peyton actually Dennis Smith if he get the start then I would take a chance there and there's a lot of point guard uh, but definitely if was is out I like Peyton and there are some of the cheap guys I do like here so I may get this start uh, let's see play 22 minutes uh, I can't uh, 22 minutes I would rather go with uh, with uh, 4.9k TJ McConnell and two other cheap guys I do like guys is Jordan McLaughlin at 3.6k 
and there's another cheap guy. Never mind, I already talked about him, and that's Bonson. I was checking my notes real quick. So, yeah, Jordan McLaughlin, I, I know he played 32 minutes, he didn't do much. I didn't play him. I regret I didn't play him, but then again, at the end, I'm like, okay, maybe it was a good thing. I like Jordan McLaughlin here. Right now, I'm going to leave him there. Most likely, I'm going to change him by the end of the day. But I'm going to leave Jordan McLaughlin here. Let's jump to the shooting guard. I don't really like the shooting guard. Okay, you guys might like it because there's a real Mitchell. There's a, especially if uh, his point guard is out, my column, 8.2K on the back to back. But it's okay, see, my go off. The Rosen has been playing great. Edwards has been playing great. I'm skipping Ola Depot here. His second game with my hit. Colin Sexton, 7.4K is one of my favorite. Um, but the guy I'm going to give you guys here is Kerry Slaver against the Spurs. Uh, and the reason is, right now we have two certain players we need to know. Basically, the best two players for the team look like there's a chance they can be out. Okay? That's a bonus. I know something's for sure most likely going to be out. And you have Bogdan. So if those two guys are care slaver to me, will become a popular player. He definitely can become a popular player. That's not why I like him. I like him because I think he's going to have to do a lot more. So care slaver is the guy I'm going to give you guys. Uh, I don't really want to play any of the cheap guys except like Ali, uh, Ali Burton. Yes. Uh, Duncan Robinson has a decent game, but I don't really want to go there. Seth Curry would be my other cheap guy here. So, you know, Seth Curry at 4.4K, but for now, Curry's labored. But if somehow Sabonis is going to play, then, and uh, back then, then change it to Seth Curry, all right? So... Anybody down there I want to play? John Robinson. I'm glad they moved him to shooting guard. If uh, Bill is out, then I would want to play him a little bit. Uh, he has been struggling, but I know he can have kind of like a ceiling of, you know, close to 30 fantasy points. Small forward. Jimmy Butler, 9.1K. Chris Middleton, 7.5. RJ. I'm not really looking to play RJ, but we use 6K. I had a bad game after, like, some good games. Not that they were really good. It played a lot of minutes, and none of them is over one fantasy point, except for the one against Andy. Barely made it there. All right? So, based on how the position looks like, so uh, he can end up being in the winning lineup. I also like Danny Green, just like I like him last time. I told you guys, uh, Porter, uh, I would love to see him in the starting lineup, but uh, right now it looks like he's not yet to reach uh, over 25 minutes. But Danovich, if uh, Con is out, I like him a little bit more. I'd rather meet you out, then I would like him even more. But uh, he actually having a decent game uh, right now. Uh, Jay Rich 5K, I don't mind because of the position, how the position looks like, and the team they are playing against. I can see Jay get some steals, some blocks, some scoring, rebound, do a little bit of everything. All right. Uh, uh, Ken Rich William, I don't mind taking a, a chance there. But uh, as far as the guys that I want to give you guys, right now I'm looking at Ryu, Chris Middleton. I'm going to go with Chris Midi here at 7.5K. I do like Ryu, but I'm going with Midi. With the upside at the power forward position, Giannis 10.8k, great price against the Kings. I don't want to think about blowout, but uh, Giannis, Julius Randle, Tobias 7.9k, Nance out. Uh, Covington has been playing great. Jeremy Grant had a great game, then busted against the Knicks. That's not going to be an easy one. Uh, Okiki, Okeke has been okay. Has been okay. Uh, been rebounding really good. Uh, doing a little bit of scoring, uh, assists, doing a little bit of everything. So he's actually a good defender. Bonds at 5.8k. I do like. Uh, you have Wabi and and Poku. Man, uh, I think between the two, I would go with Wabi here. 
but most likely I must stay away from those guys. Gay had a good game last game, but he was cooking from the put three on 31 minutes. I like the price, so I don't mind taking a chance here. Um, McDaniel finally had a great first quarter and did nothing after that. Dean Wade gonna get minutes. I like Kevin Love at 4.5k. Played 19 minutes, which was very surprised. Wait, play 20 minutes? Play 20 minutes at 19.3 fantasy points. So in the first quarter, he did great. In the second quarter, second half, with his minute didn't do nothing. Uh, that basically had the position. At Stan, I wish they would play more minutes than was the other guy. Than Wade. Uh, Wade has been playing, what, 30 plus, 5, 37 minutes, 31 fantasy points. At Stan, have like 37 fantasy points and like 20 minutes or something like that. You know, give him more minutes. I mean, 20, 28 fantasy points in 19. Much better. 34 fantasy points in 26. He is definitely a better fantasy player per minute than than uh, the uh, what is his name I just talked about Wade. All right, those are the guys that I like. Uh, I do like love, but I'm not gonna give you guys love. I'm gonna go all the way on top. I expect him to bounce. He haven't really do much since he came back from that injury, and that's uh, we have the money to spend. So let's go to Julius Randle here against Detroit. Um, and center, you have Towns. I have my eyes on someone else. You have Bem at 9.2k. I don't mind. Uh, Moses Brown, Price. I'm not feeling the Price with Del Carter. I want to see him at the starting lineup. Oh, 30 minutes. So he get the minutes. So that's good to see. I like Wendell Carter here at that price. But it's not a good matchup now against Utah. But I still like him at that price. 6.2? Who? I didn't even. For some reason, my head's telling me it's 5.2k. Who? That price I don't really like too much because I think I, I don't like the price. Uh, Lopez 5.3k. I don't mind. Howard 5.1k. Then I need I love Howard here. He just need to not get kicked out. All right. So Howard is one of my favorite center. But one guy. I like a lot here is Miles Turner at 6.4k. As much as I like Howard, I'm gonna go with Miles Turner, but I do like Howard as my second favorite after Turner. Uh, so I only like Turner if only if you know who how uh, uh, it's a bonus. That's the only reason I'm gonna play him. If he's out, yes. All right. And one more guy, one guy I want to talk about, I didn't talk about, is uh, for, what time is that game? The, hopefully it's not a late game. And the other night, oh, now nah, it's kind of late. So you have uh, just an day 4K, I do like too, by the way, especially if that's going to be the case where you have uh, uh, it's a bonus out. All right, so let's check out the K. All right, guys, so I did say I would replace uh, the top point guard. So let's go ahead and put Brunson here for now. Uh, if Luca is out. If Luca is not out, then my other two replacements, three replacements, Jordan McLaughlin is one. Another one would be Westbrook. But the main guy most likely I'm probably going to go with is Ben Simmons at 7.8K. All right. But if Brighton is in, then Brighton over all those guys back then then all those other four guys including Jalen Bonson, Jordan McLaughlin, Ben Simmons and of course Westbrook now let's talk DK DK also have McLaughlin in there that's gonna stay no matter what Bonson I like him at 4.8k especially I mean I most likely will replace him if Luca is in but if Luca is out I love him Jalo 4.9k, great price, 6.1 on FD. Gianni is up on him up there at 10.9k. On DK, you have you still have a six, 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 six left. So you have a lot of money left, and I got to pay pay up. It would either be him or his book. So I went with Giannis here. Well, I also could pay up for uh, Wendo if I want to. 
because I feeling Giannis will be out for this game and then last time that happened he ended up playing so hopefully that's not what's gonna happen here and I go with Turner just in case if Giannis start if not then on the comment section I will go and let you guys know both on here and TikTok all right so let me check my lineups again man I know uh, I've been watching the TV in silent and I saw Schroeder doing his thing so let's see Schroeder 35.8 and uh, Chris Paul 41.3 but what's going on with CJ McCollum he only had like one fantasy point in this third quarter and no Portland is down by a lot that no wonder which means Gianni is going to be sitting too but Gianni is I think already done enough to be in the winning lineup so let's check out the winning lineup real quick see if Gianni is in there most likely it should be no, he's not in there. So I, oh yeah, because of Siakam and and uh, Johnson. So I need Giannis to get to seventy. Yeah, Giannis need to get to seventy. Come on, come on, let's make it a game. All right, guys. So uh, that basically it. That basically it. I did get another team in the winning lineup. So like right now I have three of seven. Hopefully I can get a few more in there. But the problem is all of them have like. Uh, well, this one doesn't. Yeah, they even have Nikhil Alexander, Nikhil Alexander Walker, Oven Fleet. I think every single one of them have those guys. Yep. Oven Fleet. Jordan Poole, man. Five teams with Jordan Poole. Five out of ten. Ah. Jackson. I didn't even have Jackson Hayes. But I'm like, since I have two teams that are exactly the same. Damn, I end up putting Jackson Hayes here, and that was Pascal Siakam and Giannis too. Oh man, I thought this team was gonna be a great team. Anyway, guys, good luck. I appreciate you guys. Subscribe, turn on your bell notification, drop a like. By the way, if you guys haven't getting into crypto, you guys should thinking about it. I'm out.